For years, this case was called a medical triumph, but in truth, the case was a failure, devastating the lives of just about everybody involved. This is David, who has remained anonymous until now, uh, only known in the medical journals as John Joan. And this is Janet Reimer, David's mother, who made the agonizing decision to change the sex of her son and to raise him as a girl. And what you all at home didn't see during the taping of that piece, um, we could tell Janet you were, you know, moved and probably disturbed by uh, what you're saying. And David, you, you comfort her. Uh, she's hurting right now. Uh, mothers are all over the world are all alike. There's guilt. Uh, it's darned if you do and darned if you don't. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what things that were done were done out of compassion, out of love for your child. Mm -hmm. and, and how can I hate my mother for that? Mm -hmm. Did you think he would hate you? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Did you hate yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you talk on the tape about the day you first put the dress on. Did you have agonizing feelings about it even when the doctor, or were you of that generation or kind of person when the doctor said this would be best? Did you all believe that it would be best? Yes, I had complete faith in the doctor. Mm -hmm. I believed it would be best. But when he started to rip it off, I started to have doubts. Mm -hmm. And during the whole journey of trying to create a feminine being, there were doubts along the way, but I couldn't afford to contemplate them because I couldn't afford to be wrong. I couldn't have faced the alternative. And the alternative being what? That you'd made this horrible mistake? Yes. Because then what could you do? Right. Since, you, since your earliest memories, you never felt like you were a boy, a girl? I never quite fit in, uh, uh, well, the girls would do their things with their Barbies and things like that, and that wouldn't interest me. Mm -hmm. And uh, things such as trucks and uh, building forts and, uh, you know, getting to the odd fist fight and mm -hmm. climbing trees, that's the kind of stuff that I like, but it was unacceptable, so I'd never... As a girl? As, as a girl, I had no place to, to fit in. So what would you say to um, David, who was then your daughter, what would you say to him when he would act out his maleness? I would try and convince him that he was doing it because he was a tomboy mm -hmm. and that it was okay to be himself or herself, I would say at the time. It was okay to be herself, but she was very much a tomboy. Mm -hmm. I tried to fit in. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I tried with the, with the makeup and it, it, it turned out to be a disaster. I mean, you got the, you know, the, the, red, the red circles on the cheeks, and uh, look, I, look, I look like a clown, basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, uh, but I didn't do it because I liked it. I did it because I wanted so desperately to fit in because I was so lonely. And I let one boy kiss me on my cheek once, and I thought about it. I said, no, I don't like this. Uh, you know, that, that, I can't help that. You know, I am what I. Did I you am. feel you you when you say I am what I am, but you didn't know what that was? I, I wasn't sure. Mm 